Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Nino Kuni, The Wrath of the White Witch today. Oh dear, we're in trouble. It's episode 44. In the last episode, we made our way through the Glittering Grotto, and what lies ahead looks absolutely terrifying. Oh, it's a big ice panther! <laughs> oh, we're in trouble now. That reminds me of one of those Digimon as well. <laughs> oh god. What's your name? Seborius. I think that's his name. Seborius? I'm not sure. I don't know. Alright, cool. Seborius. Yeah, that's the one. So, I'll tell you what. Let's start off slightly defensive. Actually, I'm to it. All out attack. Oh, no. Defend, defend, defend. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, so that one's targeted. That works well. Oh, wait. He's got a tail as well. Like a, like a proper fish fin. That's really strange. Oh, dear. Bloody hell, he does not like strippy, does he? Although he's not hitting that badly on us. Cool. So that attack is directed. Oh, dear. Is he paralyzed? Oh, I thought he might have been paralyzed there. Fling flame. This might work better here. Oh, defend. Oh, that one I should have defended on. Howling blizzard to the bad one. Lesson learned. Strip is down. Oh, dear. Very close to death, strip he is. Uh, cool. So other than that, he's got a normal attack. He's got the one that he charges up, so you just defend on that one. Ow! Wait, hold on. Did Esther just... Now I'm confused. Oh, we can run over those ice pockets. Ah, okay. Be careful now, everyone. So that's the one he shoots at. Ah, I see a specific target. Esther's stunned. I'm going to heal you up, my dear. There we go. Right, let's all out attack them. We should be good for now. He really doesn't like Strippy, does he? Anytime Strippy is out, he just goes for him. The hell, man? What's your problem? Oh, uh, cold boulder. That's all right. We just stick on him whilst he attacks the other person. We'll be good. There we are. Now he's probably going to pull out another move, isn't he? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to have to heal Esther. He's probably going to go for another little rolling attack. Oh, dear. Defend. I think we defended. I, at least I know I did. Of course, neither of those two did. God, those two need, like, a written invitation to defend. They take forever. Oh, that jumping is not helping my case here. Oh, God. I'm going to have to bring Swain back because Esther is pretty useless. And she will die. I know it. Esther, just... Oh, dear. Why am I focused over there? There we go. Oh, who's it Who's it targeting? I can't tell. Oh, all right. Okay. So it looks like Gogo is not affected by those too much. So that's an advantage. It's just the little melee attacks, which she isn't so resistant to. But that's good, because then if Moni and Gogo keep defending, even if Gogo takes their ice hits, then I can carry on doing stuff like that. Ah, uh, you know that monster who lives in cold places don't like fire, don't you, Ollie boy? Well, this big pooch is no different. Go on, man, and give him a roasting. This is going to be perfect as well when Ollie gets a golden glim. Oh, that's it. All out attack. Let's get him. Yeah. Oh, there's a golden glim right there. That's mine. That is mine. Nobody touch it. Nobody touch it. Bumbly, I hate you so much. You're just going to do some lame thing that makes you physically stronger. Ah, oh, God's sake. Although, it looks a bit fiery. Oh, that is a different move. Glacial God. Oh, so that was a defensive move of his. Ah, ow, I got tail whips. All right, let's carry on going. Let's just move it around a bit. There we are. Good. Oh, defend. Actually, now I can carry on attacking. Wasn't aimed at me. Oh, wow. I got the recoil off that. All right. Fair enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's switch out to Ollie Boy. Oh, it's going to cast its big move in a second, isn't it? Oh, dear. That's it. Good. Good. Right. All defend. Actually, it's only me defend. Or is it Go Go? No, it's me. It's me. All right. Cool. I sent another attack on its way. I still want to send Strippy out in case... Because he's not very good against ice attacks. Ah, there it is. Oh, no, that's Glacial Guard again. Bloody hell. That's fine. I don't know what Glacial Guard does. I think that's just a buff. Because I'm noticing on his icon in the top right corner... He seems to be faring a little bit better than before. Oh, come on then. Attack him. There you go. Got him almost down to halfway. That's good. Right. You guys defend... Why is it? It should tell me that he's aimed at me. Oh, that's really frustrating. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
Oh, switch to Ollie Boy. There you go. Ho, 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 ho. That was a good dodge. Very, very good dodge. That's very close. Go on then. All out attack you guys. Let me heal and touch myself again. Good. Looks like Swain's doing all right on that front. Oh, Esther. Why are you sending that bumbly? Oh, defend. I hear the noise in my head that they've done it. Like, that they've defended, but they never have. Right, go goes good. I took a bit of a hit. And it looks like Swain needs some healing as well. Come on. Give me a break. Give me a break. Oh, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Regardless. No, I'm all right. Just. Oh, very close. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much, you two. Oh, there was a golden glim there, and I completely missed it. Bugger. Those golden glims would be very helpful. That's it. Come on, then. Ah, balls. I shouldn't even try and do that. Defend. Hey, they actually defended this time. Or at least Molly did. Or it was just leaning. Hey, that's good, that. I like it. As if we got no golden glims from that. Let me just heal up Swain. Where is he? There you go, Kangi. Oh, wow, he's actually playing Kangi. That's a first. All right, Cold Boulder on me. You lot go all out attack. Beautiful. Heal myself. Ah, okay. I sort of take the hit and then I miss the hit and stuff. It's a very strange mix. Oh, why is he growling? I think that might just be a general character animation. Right, I need to heal up Swain. If he could just quickly eat a provision. Sandwich. Yeah, that'll do, Swain. Just nibble on one of them. Only gives you half your health. I think you have some bigger ones. I think I've got some, like, fish burgers. That's it. Good. So that is 21. I don't know how strong my attacks are with Strippy. Not been checking. Oh, they're 26 per time, and the cast time is much faster. All right. Oh. Ah, I tried to dodge out of the way of that one. Wasn't quick enough. Oh, defend. You don't go all out attack. Oh, it was actually on Gogo -Go you did that one. Fair enough. Oh, nah, it's not what I wanted to do. Where is it? Spell. There you go. Even though I've been casting a lot of healing spells, I haven't really gone down that much in mana. I must have been picking it up from some places. Whew, I just got the defense on that. The cast time again in this area is still quite low. Especially for that being like a master move as well of his. Um, they seem to happen relatively quickly. There we are. Good. Right, I'm reckoning if I send out Strippy. What's he got? Oh, Glacial Guard. Just nail a few attacks now then, whilst we can. Yes! Now's a chance. Right, get it. Just going to keep an eye out for any Golden Glims. Sometimes Golden Glims drop when you get a chance. That's it. Keep it coming. That's it. Oh, dear me. So he's probably going to try and use one of those ice moves on me. Oh, defend. Oh, God, I think the other two would have taken the hit there. Although I do have that massive group revived, don't I? That I can use. I don't want to use it if I can help it. Uh, Phoenix Feather on Swain. Ah, oh, proper tiny tears, man. He couldn't have waited like three seconds until I'd given a Phoenix tear out. Never mind. That's fine. At least our characters are healed up a bit. That's what I wanted to do, wasn't it? Provision, yeah. Phoenix Feather on Swain. That's it. You stay defending, Esther. Wow, it only hits five when you do that, Esther. Well played. All right. Def oh, no. All out attack. There we go. I'm just going to wait for him to attack me. Yeah, that's it. Go for the big roll. Go for the big roll. Oh, dear. He's probably going to twist around on me, isn't he? Oh, defend. Okay, and all out attack again. Good. It's all right, this. This might actually be one of the first times that I get a boss in the first attempt. I'd be very lucky if that was the case. There we go. I think all this levelling up actually did a lot of help. So, for all the people that go, I told you so. You did tell me so. And I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I can say to that in response. Okay, defend. Everyone must have defended here. You had loads of time. No? Of course Esther didn't. Esther's a Muppet. Ow, I should really stay defended after those. Right, I'm going to have to switch out to you and then defend straight away. That's it. Do any of you guys want to help me at all, or...? Oh, bloody hell. 
Oh, okay, good. We're all right. We're all right. Out you go, Strippy. That's it. Nice bit of defending. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And then switch out to Ollie Boy for a quick heal. Good. It's like he comes back to the ring corner like in a boxing match. There we go. Double healage there. Got a healing tier and a healing touch. That's it. Just get around this side of him. Keeps moving too far away. Cold Boulder. I don't know who that's on. I doubt it's on me. No, it's not on me. Good. Oh, dear. He got one up on, uh, on Moni. That's the first time I think I've seen that happen to Moni. Bloody hell. Come on. Let me get some hits in. Oh, God's sake. Right. Ollie, do some fireballs on him or something. Where is it? Fireball. There you go. Keep it coming. Another fireball for you, my friend. Oh, defend. Right. You both must have done it. Must have done it. Guarantee Esther hasn't. Of course she hasn't, no. Oh, no, wait. He did. He did. Ah. Go, go. Don't bother. Don't bother, go, go. It's mine. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you're in trouble, mate. You are in trouble. Cerebrus. You're going down, son. Burning heart is going to wreck your world. And the big attack for the finish. Not quite the finish, but close. That was a lot of bloody damage. I think that's the highest I've ever seen anybody hit on this game. 300. Other than, like, you know, 100 spread across each character when enemies have done moves to us in the past. It's pretty good. There you go. Everyone all out attack. Let me just go around the side of you. That's it. Let me just defend. Cool. I think they defended. No, it doesn't look like it. They both got hit. Oh, dear. All right. I need to switch out to Ollie. He needs to use some provisions. Is the one that heals everybody? No. Right, if I use that, I'll get back to up to full health. The Tika Mahala. Good. Now everybody back out for the attack in the end. Only a little bit more left and then we've taken him down. Oh, dear. See, you got B for me, have you? That's it. Careful, Swain. You're awfully low. I don't think you realise it, so I'm going to heal you up. Provisions. What you got? Go on then. I'll let you have a big sandwich, a big fish burger. That's it. Oh, defend. Oh, dear. That might cost us. Oh, no. Strippy is definitely down. How could he have got on like 100 earlier on, but he only got a little bit from that? That's very peculiar. How an ice attack like Snowstorm from those bandits before didn't do as much damage as the ice boss's big attack. Really strange. Really, really strange. Ward? Oh. Is Ward something I should be casting all the time? Apparently so. Apparently it gives everyone better defense. I did not think about that. All right, cool. All out attack. Let's finish him off. It's only a little bit left. As long as we're sensible with it, we should be good. Yeah, he's not like him, is he? That's it, good. That's it, keep it coming, keep it coming. I'm gonna attack with this guy. Yeah, cool. All out attack again. Keep it coming. That's it, don't worry about him. He's just a big little little puppy. Look at him. We're gonna kick his ass, aren't we? Yes, we are. Who's gonna get the ass whooped? Is it you? Is it you? Go on then, give me a golden glim. I want to finish this off. One hit is all it's going to take me now with a golden glim. Uh, right, strip you out, you go. Glacial God, all right. That's it. I think actually we might get there on normal attacks. Ooh, dear. Steady on, strippy. Oh, he's coming over for me. Do you want to distract him, Gunther, maybe? Defend. I don't think they defended him in time. Maybe Moni did. Nah, none of us did, apparently. Not even me, what? Oh, cheers, Esther. She's putting me before Swain. She clearly loves me more. But no, I'm, I'm spoken for. I'm spoken for by her soulmate, Myrtle. So, it still kind of is you. You're still the one for me, Esther, but not quite. Just not in this world. That's it, keep going. Just a couple more hits. Who's going to get that finishing hit on him? I want it to be strippy. 
Ah, oh, come on. He's, he's aiming his attack at me, but can I interrupt it? Oh, oh no. All right, I'm just going to leave him to it. Esther, hit me with your spell. Oh, what a fantastic way to finish it off. Just end it on a high note. And yes, that was a very clever pun. Is that it? Lol. Is that all? Lol. So there we go. Leveling up for pretty much everybody. We've got the Spirit of the Snow, which I think is the thing that is going to go into Mornstar and make it even more epic and strong. But uh, level 33 for Oliver. We've got level 3 for 30 for Percy. Level 33 for Sappy. We've got level 33 for Esther. We've got level 34 for Gogo, <gasps> who can now metamorphose into his final form. Oh my god. And then we've got Kangi for level 15. Bumbly going up to level 30. That's a jump of two with Petrifying Poke added to his arsenal. Swain for level 33. Gunther level 29. And that is all she wrote. Ugh. Oh, oh, that looks different. You obtained the star stone. Okay, so it wasn't the blue one we got. You obtained the page describing Cerber. Cer, Cer, Cerber. I, I don't know how to say this one. Martin, uh, it's Cerberus. Thank you. Stay back, everybody. It might still be dangerous. Nah, man, look at those puppy dog eyes. He ain't on that warpath no more. Grr. Forgive me. Ah, flipping egg, man. A flipping talking dog. What, what the hell are you? I am Cerberus, faithful servant of the Wizard King and keeper of the stones. So Tabitha was right. Even after his passing, I served my master still. For many ages now I've guarded the stone, but its power became too much for me. It consumed me. It drove me insane. Oh, you poor thing. You came here for the stone, did you not? Uh, yes, we did. We have to gather all of them so we can f defeat Shadar. Hmm. I had sensed that all was not right in the world beyond these walls. In saving me from my madness, you have proven your strength and purity of heart. You are worthy of the stone. Ah, you could tell all just from... <laughs> you could tell all that just from smacking us around in your gob. You're a perceptive pooch. I'll give you that. Mm, I understand much that is not seen fairly. As, you, as will you. You are the ones whom my master waited. For whom he st waits still. Your master, the Wizard King, he knows about us? The Wizard King knows all, and the time when you too shall know all approaches. But first, you must prove to him your strength. Huh? How do we do that? Do that which he asks. Grant him his final wish. Right the wrong of ages past. Bye bye dogfish talking man bear pig. Whatever he is. Wait, what could the Wizard King want with us? Ah, buggered if I know. Still looks like old Mudface didn't mean us any harm in the end, eh? Well, maybe. But all he did was throw another load of riddles at us. When is this all going to make sense? Oh, don't be so negative. We got the stone, that's what matters. The thing to do now is to keep on going. You're right, Esther. Time to go, everybody. I really love this music, by the way. This very, like, haunting version of the main Nino Kuni theme. That's really, really cool. Right, through the fast travel we go and enter the Glittering Grotto, which is what we were already in, but we're gonna go to the entrance and we're gonna travel back and all that cool stuff. It's gonna be fun. Here we go, right. It looks like we need to head over to the next map position, don't we? So where is it on the map? Let me just call down um, good old Tengri, which in the last episode, apologies for, I kept calling him Kengri and I don't know why. I just assumed that his name was Kengri because of Kablai. That's where the K was coming from. Right, which one do we want to go for? Should we go for the one by... Mm, I, I'm going to leave the dark one up top until the end. Because that looks like the more spooky and the more, like, climatic one. So if we head down to the one down south, I think that will be a good choice. We've just got the cave over there where we came from. A couple of little random islands. You can land on these islands as well. 
Uh, I should show you where the thing is. Right, okay, look where the star is in the top right corner. Those really uh, incredible mobs that you can get loads of XP off. If you go from the top right corner star to the island that's to the left of it, as in like the, the greener one, and then the little one that's down the bottom right hand corner of that, that's the one that you go to. So there you go. If anybody who plays Nino Kuni and wants some easy levels when you get to this part of the game, then there you are. Super tips! Right, so now I need to work out where we're going from here. So, it wasn't in Castaway Cove. It looked like it was just sort of to the northeast of it. So, I think... Ah, yeah, here we go. It's just on the other side of Alma Moom's Mountains. I'm going to skip all this extra stuff down here. Here we go. Nice. Cool beans. Oh, it's sort of like red down here as well. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I shall see you all in a little bit.